Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another Make a Card Mind Day video. Today I'm going to be using this stamp set called Ice Cream Dream that I designed for the August 2014 card kit from Simon Says Stamp. And I actually have a card kit to give away. So I'm going to have a link at the very end of this video for you to click over to my blog to enter the giveaway there. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and make this card. Uh, the first thing I've done is I've cut some watercolor paper and it is three and one quarter tall by eight and three quarter wide. And that's because the finished card is going to be three and a half tall by nine inches wide. So this watercolor paper is just slightly smaller than that. And I first ran my Inka Dinka Do Magic, let's see, embossing magic powder bag over the cardstock and that's just to prevent any stray embossing powder. And then I started stamping all of the ice creams. And after I stamp each one, I'm coating it in Hero Arts white embossing powder so that I can see where it's at and stamp the next one to it. So I just stamped those three ice cream cones. And then I'm gonna go ahead and heat set that with my heat tool. And Manny's meowing behind me. Hi, Manny. Hi. <laughs> He says hello. <laughs> and then I took the little heart icons from the stamp set and stamped those as well and coated them with the same Hero Arts white embossing powder and then heat set them. And now I'm going to go into some watercoloring. So I taped down the watercolor piece to my board here and I'm taking some water and I'm just coating the entire piece. I'm going to be doing a really soft watercolor wash background over everything and then I'll dry that and start painting over the ice cream cones. So I'm just putting down lots and lots of water. I'm really saturating that paper. Hey, Manny, what's the problem? He's really meowy tonight. Um, so when the watercolor paper is wet, you can drop in color and it sort of, sort of wicks out and um, it creates a really pretty fade, especially if you have the colors together. Hey. Come here. Okay, come here. All right, I had to roll my chair over so I could grab my cat. <laughs> Manny, are you going to be quiet now? Okay. So I'm just adding more and more color onto this piece here. And you'll notice that it started to cover up all of the embossing, but there's no need to worry about that because the embossing, melted embossing powder is a slick surface. And so the watercolor just sort of sits on top and I'll be able to wipe it off after everything's dry. So just adding more of that color in, making sure I'm getting all the areas of the background and then I'm gonna go ahead and heat set this with my heat tool. And when you're watercoloring over embossing, just keep it moving. And as long as you keep it moving and don't stay in one spot too long, you should be okay. So then I took a baby wipe and I started to clean things up. And I have to warn you here though, my baby wipe was a little bit too wet. The best thing to do is use more of just a damp baby cloth, a baby wipe, because um, otherwise it'll pick up the color and start moving it around, which is what happened with mine. I got a couple little spots um, where I moved the color where I didn't want it. But once I figured out that my baby wipe was just a little bit too wet, I started to make sure that after I wiped one area, I moved to a clean piece of the baby wipe. You're saying hello, Manny? He's like rubbing his head against the mic. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that. Okay, so after I um, cleaned off the embossing powder, I went ahead and started coloring the ice cream cones, and I'm bringing in some really intense color. And the way you can do this is to not add much water to your color. Just keep it really kind of thicker. So the way I'm doing this is I'm adding in, like I'm putting down a whole wash of a lighter color and then going back in with a darker color, and that's gonna get sort of that look where you've got the darker side of the ice cream on the one side. I colored all the individual pieces of this popsicle and had a kind of in a rainbow color pattern going all the way to the top of the popsicle. And like I did with the ice cream, I put in one color and then dropped in another in order to give one side of it a little bit more depth. And then for this large um, kind of like chocolate coated ice cream on the side, I, get, I put down a nice wash of brown and then brought in um, black which over top of the brown just made it look like kind of like a dark chocolate. So I think it looks really nice and yummy like that. And then I brought in some pink to sort of look like maybe like a strawberry or peach ice cream. And I'm going to be adding a little bit of yellow over on the one side there. And that's 
what's going to kind, kind of make it look like it's like a peach flavor or something like that. These ice creams are all like ridiculous colors anyway. They're like rainbowy anyway, so they're not supposed to be realistic, let's let's say. So after I dried that, I went ahead and cleaned up that embossing powder once again, and then it was time to take off the the piece from the board. So I'm just peeling off that blue painter's tape, making sure that it's coming off nice. And then I'm gonna start assembling the card. Hi, Manny. Hi. He's very distracting. So I have some dark chocolate cardstock here from Simon Says Stamp, and I'm stamping the sentiment from the stamp set that says, I love you more than ice cream, that's a lot. And I stamped that in Versamark ink, and then I'm putting some Hero Arts white embossing powder over the top. And I'll heat set that. And then I trimmed it out and cut off the one end so it was at an angle and put some foam adhesive on the back to adhere it to the card. As far as the card base goes, um, I cut my card my cardstock. This is some basil marshmallow cardstock. And the way it's on screen right now, it's seven inches wide, and I'm going to be scoring it at three and a half, and it's nine inches long. So because my this is the mini scoring board it doesn't go that long, I just turned it around and did another score line at three and a half and then folded the card down. I put a ton of adhesive on the watercolor piece because it got quite warped with all the heat setting and all the watercolor. So I put a lot of foam adhesive on the back and I love this um, foam tape from 3M and Scotch. I think it's so great. You can cut it to any length you want and the backing is super easy to take off as well. So just press that down onto my card base and that finishes the card for today. I'm gonna give you a close up. Just a reminder that if I have that giveaway for the whole entire card kit over at my blog, you can click on the link that's on the screen right now and it'll take you to my blog where you can enter um, in the raffle copter area at the bottom of the, le of the post. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys Wednesday. videos for you to check out and they're my three most recent videos. I had three videos last week. I had a color Wednesday, kind of a special one um, that showcased a new product from Pretty Pink Posh and then I had um, Friday Focus. So go ahead and click on any of those if you're looking for some more card inspiration and you can visit my blog at kmwernerdesign.com and you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.